this biblical rain, as I'm terming it, which is due tomorrow morning. Hopefully I get the tent down before that arrives and get on my bike. Advice for anyone considering doing cycling, the Ring of Kerry drama. I was flying the drone. I'm back down in Killarney again and my plan is to cycle the Ring of Kerry. I'm 51 years of age, Irish, and I've never done the Ring of Kerry. Um, so I'm going to give it a go now <laughs> over the next couple of days. Uh, so the Ring of Kerry is, it covers the, uh, uh, probably the most popular peninsula in Ireland, the Ivora Peninsula in County Kerry. And I, I suppose there's variations of the route that you can do, but I'm going to um, do aim to do a loop of the entire peninsula. So it could be about 180 kilometres plus. Um, and I've heard various things about this route that it's jam packed with traffic and tourists. That is really busy. So here I am coming through Killarney National Park. Hardly anyone around. There's some people. Hi there. Um, so traffic is certainly not a, an issue yet. So as soon as I left Killarney, I was able the town. I was able to get into the national park and follow a little trail here. Um, so I'm going to have some mountain climbs. I'm probably well from looking at the route. The biggest climb I'm going to have is today on day one. I'm going to be faced with uh, uh, not great weather conditions as well over the next couple of days, but um, I'm going to try and uh, just continue and see how I get on. <laughs> stopped for a little lunch break um, it's helping me relax a little bit just sitting here taking in the views um, I'm about I think I'm about 11 kilometers into my cycle so I haven't started any of the big climbing yet um, so I'm trying to get some energy up and just relax into being away again Burn. It's a little windy, hope you can hear me okay. Uh, once I reached Lady's View there, my confidence just soared. I um, suppose I didn't have much faith or enough faith in me and uh, the Bromptons three gears to get me up this high, um, but it's, it's done really well. I didn't even have to get off the bike at all. So three gears, making it up to Ladies' view and on to Malls Gap. Um, oh, I'm delighted. My, I'm just so happy now. I've reached Malls Gap. This is the highest point along the the Ring of Kerry, so I'm delighted to have made it. Um, 
views of the mountains are just spectacular and uh, I've got a 10 kilometers to get to Kenmare and that's all downhill so I'm gonna fly down that I'd imagine hopefully safely so I'm just having some more oh, a brown roll and some more hummus and just gonna chill out for a few minutes So I've come through Ken Mayer and I'm on the N71 now and it's definitely busier. Um, actually uh, the road kind of bypassed Ken Mayer, just kind of skirted around the edge of the town. Um, so I'm just going to go for probably another six or seven kilometres um, and call it a day today. I was hoping to get about 40 kilometres of the route done today and so I'm very happy that I'll have achieved that. So I'm just going to go on for a few more kilometres and next job now is trying to find somewhere to pitch up for the night. I've just picked up some water from probably one of the most famous pubs in this part of the country, Spillane's Bar. Spillane's were, uh, were and are a famous Gaelic football family. Um, and I just got talking to a nice man there who's after giving me a recommendation of where to go and camp. So just behind me here, there's a strand down there. So I need to go up the road a little bit further and uh, he said there's good protection down there as well from the wind. So that's worked out really well. I'm in my element. Just on the hunt now for somewhere to pitch. Um, I'm just taking a little stroll. This is just beautiful. A whole place to myself. I've been spotted by the Spillans and they've said to drop in if I need anything. <laughs> so nice. To rehydrate my rice. If anyone from the tent police is watching, you may have noticed that I have a new tent. I treated myself to the Xmid 2 and it's really spacious. Still want to keep my Xmid 1 but I really much prefer the uh, the space that this offers um, especially for a multi-day trip like this. Back on the road again. It's about nine in the morning now, and my next stop is Sneem, which is just under 20k away. Um, the rain has held off so far, but uh, it's going to hit me at some stage, I'd imagine. And there was a bit of rain when I went to bed last night, and uh, the tent was quite wet this morning, but hopefully, it's now for when I set it up later. So let's see what day two's adventures will bring.
Is it electric? No. No. Three gears. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, I cycle myself, but okay. not one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Taking it slow. Thank you so much. I feel like these cows know a thing or two. Just 14 kilometers to go to get to Waterville, which is where I was aiming to get to today. So there's a bit of a shower happening now, so I'm taking cover under a very large tree that has a little wall underneath it. So I'm just gonna have a snack. We are dreamers of the Great entertainment, vintage tractor show, a noisy vintage tractor show. And there's great views ahead of me of the road that I've still got to climb. Still cycling. Just after leaving Waterville now, had a big feed and got the opportunity to do a bit of charging while I was there and spent some time looking at uh, Google Maps and I have uh, come up with a place to try and camp tonight which is another nine and a half kilometres outside Water Waterville uh, Rain Row Beach um, it looks like there's some grass <laughs> around that beach um, which might make it possible to camp uh, so that's where I'm aiming for and um, fingers crossed it works out I'd said the only thing that was going to bother me with you know sheep and maybe not because there's wild in the ground but I've seen them here at times in tree alright but they're away over to me you see them over in the past I do I do yeah yeah they're over there yeah, yeah. so I'll be still on the tree there back out for day three it's about a quarter to ten so I left a little bit later than what I thought I might I'd uh, mislaid one of my straps that I used to attach the backpack to the rear carrier so I spent a good bit of time going through all my stuff trying to source that unpacking my sleeping bag and my mattress and my clothes looking through everything but I eventually found it in the front carrier bag, camouflaged behind something else. So 
no rain last night and the tent was completely dry no dew on it this morning uh, the footprint was a I had a little bit of dampness so I was able to dry that out so I'm thrilled with that for three nights camping and to have a dry tent to put up every night the weather has been very kind to me um, tiny little showers yesterday and it, 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 nothing too bothersome and I was just able to shelter they were very light um, and today is forecasted to be kind of the same and then it's forecasted that there's heavy rain coming in tonight and into tomorrow morning um, but there's a good chance that it'll be dry when I'm putting a tent up and if my last cycle is is all wet that's okay <laughs> and it mightn't even be like that but I'm you know kind of thinking it might be <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try get uh, as much of the cycle done today my, my train tomorrow is at uh, 1 40 um, so I don't want to leave myself too tight on time tomorrow um, and just get through a good bit of the route today um, my first stop is Carasai Veen uh, where I'll stock up on some more supplies drama I was flying the drone and I let it off from my hand and the there was a car coming so I tried to restrict the flight um, so the next time it flew off it, it flew off it didn't seem to have control um, and it just came down by itself just over this ditch I can see it but uh, I'm gonna have to put on a pair of long trousers and hopefully get it <laughs> well that was a part of the ring of Kerry I wasn't planning to explore I think it's going to be okay, but I'm going to wait until I'm in a very clear space to um, test it again because I don't want to deal with those ditches. <laughs> I've left Carosaiveen and I'm going in the direction of Kilorglin, which is coming down the west side of the peninsula. I did a little test run on the drone and everything's fine. We're friends again. Um, so it's about 40 kilometers, I think, to Kilorglin. And if I got that far today, I'd be very happy. Um, so, Looking forward to seeing what this stretch of the journey has to offer. That road was so busy up to that point. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely been the busiest that I've experienced in the last three days. So this looks nice and quiet here. So it's a uh, Looks like a quieter road that brings you to the next little, not sure if it's a village or a townland or what, uh, Kells, which as the sign said, it's just three kilometers away. on another quiet road every now and again you see signs for the Eurovelo one with uh, bicycle signs and it's just diverting you over off the uh, kind of major roads yeah, so the road with traffic is beneath me there uh, this is nice and quiet
So I've reached Kilorglin and I've just taken a turn up towards an area called Bali Kassane, which is on the coast. Um, and I'm going to see if I can try find somewhere to camp. All that traffic just wrecked me in the last couple of hours. It really did. <laughs> um, it's just not the kind of experience that um, that I enjoy. That any that anyone could enjoy. Um, just relentless cars. Um, so, advice for anyone considering doing cycling the Ring of Kerry stay off the major roads anytime I was off the the major roads I was very happy <laughs> um, my energy was so good uh, the last two days and from this afternoon I'm just like just feel a bit downtrodden um, my legs still have like loads of power, can still go, but the rest of me is knackered. So I'm just gonna hopefully find a place to camp for the night. Hopefully a nice place, because um, that's important to me. Well, I found home for the night. This is Bali Kassane Pier, and there's a monument there. And a picnic table. No. <laughs> a picnic table. And I am going to set up my tent right there. It's a bit early. I think it's only about six o'clock. So I'm going to wait a little while before putting the tent up. This is really not a stealthy place to be camping. It's actually quite popular with the locals of Kilorglin <laughs> who seem to come down with their dogs or come down and just stare into the water. Um, I just wasn't bothered to make the effort to go find somewhere else. So I'm st it's not that I'm stuck here now, but uh, I've made my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to lie in it now. Um, yeah, it's strange having had such a wonderful trip and just to kind of feel a little bit downbeat um, to be not happy with the place that I'm camping for my final night to be on this wonderful peninsula and to be um, just kind of a little bit disappointed. I've got high standards. Or maybe, uh, yeah, I do. Um, and I just think there's so many nice places, um, but I just got too tired <laughs> to put the effort in. Um, so this is a new one for me to be experiencing. Um, yes, I am tired and hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. And this biblical rain, as I'm terming it, which is due tomorrow morning, Hopefully I get the tent down before that arrives and get on my bike. I have about two hours to get back to Killarney. Um, and um, yeah, it's just strange to come to the end of the trip and to be feeling a bit downbeat. Um, and it's really not such a bad location. Um, so I go off to bed. Good morning. It's quarter to five in the morning. I'm a very inexperienced bike packer or bike tourer. Um, what I mean by that is, is that I've very little experience of doing multi nights. I generally go away for one night, maybe two nights. So this is three nights and only once before have I done three nights. Um, and because of all this rain that's due to come in, um, it's just not an experience I've had before. Usually if it's, if there's some showers in the morning, I can wait it out and uh, then move on. Um, but the fact that when this rain arrives, it's meant to be uh, just relentless. I think um, I just seem to have this urgency around taking control of the situation and 
getting the tent down, especially before the rain arrives. I just kind of feel like that'll give me some sense of control and power over the rain. Um, and getting my stuff sorted before I head out. And after that, I don't mind. Um, I have a spare smelly set of clothes that I can put on if I'm soaked by the time I get to the train station. And that really doesn't bother me. So hopefully the rain stays away while I take the tent down and pack up my gear. I was thinking, I might title this video, Irish person afraid of the rain. Because that's what I am. Thankfully I don't mind getting up early. Uh, I got some decent rest. It actually turned out to be very quiet here and very still. Um, the last couple of nights I had the noise of the sea, which was lovely, but I didn't have that here. Um, so I've had enough rest. It's seven o'clock and there's no rain yet. I've just got 19 kilometers to go to get to Killarney train station. I, when I left Ballycassane, I think I had about 26 kilometers to do. Um, I've gone minor roads back towards Killarney and it's just been an utter pleasure. I had cycling on these roads this morning Mostly the sounds I'm hearing are birds, um, not like roaring cars that I was hearing yesterday. And just reflecting on the entire route, I would say the a major road from Carsivine to Kilorglin, That's that was the black spot for me. Um, just like noisy cars beside me, speeding, at, you know, especially between uh, Glen Bay and Kilorglin. Uh, the cars were just going very fast and it wasn't pleasant cycling there. Anyway, enough of that moaning. Um, this is what I came away for. Just this quiet and solitude and utter pleasure. My body's feeling really good. And all is well this morning. Oh, watch the Brompton now. A good sniff. Just over five kilometers to go. It really is a biblical miracle that I haven't been lashed out of it with rain, having spent four days in Kerry. There's been light drizzle, but the breeze is strong and it's just drying it off me. Uh, I have plenty of wet gear. Anyway, but uh, it's just nice to be able to continue as I am. I am just thrilled that me and my Brompton have been able to do the Ring of Kerry. Five minutes later, it arrived. 